So I'm back with a tea part wig. This one's from a company that I've worked for before, which is Ryu Hair. I've actually cooperated with them plenty of times. So they do have some really affordable lace wigs. And this one is an ombre 99J color girl. So while I take out these clips in this wig, I'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes. So do you see that part? First of all, I did bleach the unit. You guys know with the tea part, there's not a lot of parting space. So girl, you need to make do with what you got, aunties. Now at first, I was kind of like really apprehensive, sketchy about this whole entire lace wig. Like I'm not the hugest fan of any tea parts. And especially because there's not much parting space. Plus the edges are sometimes very, you know, just thick. So this one came out pretty neat, I will say so myself. I did bleach it for about 40 minutes and it was super easy. Not much bleach needed to use because it's only a tea. Okay, so this wig is stating that it is an HD transparent. It does give me like that meltable vibe. So I will say yes, girl. This one is a nice one. 22 inches, 180% density. The one thing though that I'm not like the hugest fan of with any tea part is also the sizing. Now because the tracks are sewn so low down, like you know where the lace would normally be, it is a little bit too big on the ear portion. And I was kind of afraid to cut that piece off because you know, I didn't want to take away from the wig. So I will experiment at a later time, but I wasn't able to just kind of like rest it where I wanted to, but you know what, it still worked out great. Now this part here is where I just section the hair off in the hairline front perimeter. This makes it a lot easier for me to adhere down. And this is what I was talking about right here, where the ear portion is at. Because of the way the tracks are sewn, I will definitely have to cut into the tracks. So I will be trying to experiment and see how it comes out. But for this particular video, I'm just gonna wing it, girl. I'm gonna use my bedhead hairspray in the part and a little bit on the edges. This is how I adhere my wig. You do it the way you like to do it, whichever feels comfortable. There's basically no right or wrong way as long as that wig is stuck down, girl. Now just to save some time, I went ahead, as you guys already know, and curled the unit off camera. If you're wondering how I feel about this blow dryer that I've been using, I actually really like it. It does take some getting used to because you know you get used to one styling tool and then you have another. 
just like these thread snip scissors these did take a little bit of getting used to cut with but these are the best thing ever i love these thread snips they make cutting so much easier you can also get them on amazon really inexpensive but you use what tool makes you feel comfortable me i do prefer a smaller pair of scissors to cut any type of wispy hairs which i'm creating baby hairs or sideburn hairs and if you see the hairline looks pretty decent for it to be a t-part and old trusty you girls know i love this styling mousse super duper affordable it's only a dollar at any local dollar tree and this is the salon selectors it doesn't leave any type of residue on your hairline also it does not leave your hair crunchy or hard the one thing i will suggest though when applying any particular lace wig make sure that you clean your hairline as well as where you're going to be adhering the wig just use my elastic band just to hold down the baby hairs or the flyaway hairs or the wispy hairs while I'm styling the rest of the unit. Just to make your wig a little bit more flush to your head, you will need to use a flat iron or you can use like a hot curling iron as well. But just be extra careful when applying any heat to your hair, your hairline. You don't want to walk around with a cute wig on and a cute burn on. As you guys see I did brush the curls loose because this curl this hair was curled for like four days prior to me you know doing this video the curls became really really tight and I didn't like the tightness of them it didn't give me like that vibe that I was going for so I'm going to use my blow dryer with the volumizing brush attachment just to loosen the hair and give it much more volume this will definitely make the wig look so much better do enjoy this blow drying system it comes with four different attachments i did pick this up from amazon i especially love this volumizing brush the most just because it does make a huge difference in your hairstyles your wig style what have you hopefully i remember to link it below but it does come on a cool a low and a high temperature so I just keep it on the highest one and do you see this beautiful color in this hair when I did wash the unit it did not bleed at all which was great so you don't have to worry about the color transferring to your clothes this 99 J is absolutely gorgeous I like the tone that it's given in my complexion very dark color and look at the hairline girl like for a tea part they did their thing with this i'm really really am impressed with this one and i hope i'm pronouncing the company's name properly you know me i can definitely botch up a name but i pronounce it ryu either way i'll definitely leave their information down below they have so many affordable units as well as headband wigs and just extension here so check them out I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you think about this part right here the part is small but if you put a little bit bleach girl you are good to go and i love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe share the video and you know thumbs it up you guys hope you have a great week and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you bye